Hey guys! I'm alive! This is some pretty good hype music. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm wearing pajama pants. Are we getting the double attack from the mic and the music? Oh yeah, probably. Is that alright? There we go. I got the mic on today. Ross! Ross! Gobi! Chibi! Fadan! Right. I'm Couch Ghost. Hey guys. How's it going? Um, I don't know if you saw my tweet the other day, or maybe it was on Snapchat. Loki puked on my, my green screen. It's all over it. Cat puke everywhere. So, I'm a little scared of using it now. I might get a new one. <laughs> How have you guys been? It's been a while. Screwdrivers? No. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Not really. It's a. Uh... Well, we ran out of grapefruit juice. <laughs> Genuine maple syrup, Hello. UDV DK. Hello. How's it going? It's been a while. It has been a while. You too, Roz? Have you? What have you been busy doing? I'm curious. I've also been a little busy. Just a little bit. <gasps> Brown coat! Yes, it has been way too long. I missed you guys. And I kind of didn't, like, kind of didn't realize that time was happening while I was working so much. <sighs> Everclear or Greek? <laughs> Actually, uh, neither of those. Lots of programming, random coding, nice. A little bit, yeah. So I kind of have something to show you guys. But I'm pretty nervous to show you because I'm so proud of it that like, I don't know, it feels weird. It's like this is the first thing that I've made in a really long time that I'm actually proud of. So this time I'm like nervous. Does that make Should sense? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start opening it, because it'll probably take, like, an hour to load up. Oh, we're gonna be doing the, uh, the Unreal version. Yeah. Okay. So, me and Couch Ghost have been making a game prototype sort of thing. <gasps> Iron Milk Steak! Hello! <laughs> um, so yeah. Let me load that up, and we will show you guys. Let me know if it's like the music is too loud or whatever. I'll probably turn it off once we open Unreal. So it doesn't matter too much. Unreal, yes you did. We've been hard at work. Um Yeah, I've basically been Oh my gosh! <laughs> Royalty for using your must-have light pick on a postcard that I sent Christine. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, thank you so much. Thank you. My gosh. And we got a donation earlier. Um, for, uh, let's see. I'll read you the message for that one, too. <laughs> GMS says, uh, the Moon Kingdom patiently awaits. <laughs> I appreciate that so much, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank Makes you, me Wolf feel Gang. missed. Hello. Wolf Gang, thank you so much for the host. Hello. But yeah, you guys really made me feel special today. Thank you so much. <laughs> Roz, thank you for the host. Host train. Little baby host train. Thank you, guys. Brown coat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Man, it's been a while. It been it's a all coming back time. to me now. Dan Fields. Hello. You never let your daughter dress like this and stream online? Dress like what? I'm wearing a t shirt jacket. <laughs> Oh yeah, Christine is on the front page! So exciting. 
she seems like she's really gotten the hang of it. <laughs> because you're looking at Atticus. <laughs> Alright. So, TGIF, by the way. Happy Friday, everybody. Alright, I think I'm ready to switch over to the screen. So much couch goes knee. It's a fine <laughs> knee, isn't it? It's got all that definition. Nice knees. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Today, it was like probably in the 70s or 80s almost. It was really warm out today. Happy Saturday. Oh my gosh. Delirious. <laughs> Not trying to stream without you. I'm sorry. Um... So, I just want to show that off. I just watched Star Wars. It's just as amazing the second time as it is the first. Love seat ghost. <laughs> what state am I in? I am in Washington State. South, just south of Seattle, actually. Um. <laughs> right. Um, so should I, should I show them the thing? Yeah, do it. Your real name is Anakin? No way. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That's, that's amazing. You haven't seen the movie yet? Oh, you need to see that. Yeah, you really do. I would stream it, but Disney would probably murder me in my sleep. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna turn off this music now. Sorry, music. There it goes. All right. Delirious, seriously, see that movie? It's awesome. You want to see the thing? <laughs> um. Let's see. Okay. Well, maybe I could leave the music on very quietly. I don't know if you guys can even hear that. It just makes me feel better. Um, so, do you guys, should we, should we do the, the, like, actual play the game, or show off the level first? Uh, I yeah, haven't I seen like the trailer the yet! <gasps> Brown Goat! <laughs> Thank you so much! Here is a big hug for seeing your streaming, so happy to see you, and hello, person I have not seen, D. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Brown Coat. <laughs> and we have not seen the Rogue One trailer. I'm really, I'm really psyched. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen it yet. We, you know, just play it. Yeah, it's gonna be about the same. I'm so nervous, you guys. Shouldn't we play the uh, the, the packaged version? Um. Let's see. Should we? I don't know. It's up to you. I would say so. Well, we're in the same play. Wait, what? No idea. Everyone pause the stream and let them watch the trailer. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is just inside of Unreal. Let me move this stuff up. Actually, I could just hit. OK. So this is this is the main character. We named her Ava for now. Hopefully that sticks, because I kind of like it. You tried to make a game in Unreal. It's pretty it's pretty extensive. So okay, you guys keep in mind. <laughs> Rico, I'm not I'm not sure who you think I am, but I don't think I'm your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my dad lives in Hawaii. And has been seen since. And I have ago. seen him <laughs> within the last 10 years. Good try, though. Good try. His name is also not Rico, or any way related to Rico. Uh, you love the style? Thank you. Okay, the elevator like pitch. Here. The elevator pitch is essentially like, I, can't, I think we're kind of going for like Legend of Zelda meets like Harry Potter, basically, because those are awesome things. 
and you're this character and you walk around and you can like talk to stuff like your bed <laughs> you can examine stuff um, and uh, basically you're in like this magical world and this is a magical school and um, Couch Ghost has been doing all the writing it's insane how much he wrote like these books they're all pretty much full of unique content a lot of content so that's that's kind of what we're going for um, the legend of Potter <laughs> kind of that actually has a nice ring to it um, and uh, so keep in mind this is a very very early stage um, prototype everything is stand-in for the most part like well, a lot of these things I'll keep, like the door. I really like the door. I like the beds, but I'll probably get rid of that chair and replace the chair. I'll we're probably replace a lot of stuff. We're both doing the coding of it in. And oh, yeah, we're both doing the that. coding. That's been the hardest part, and that probably takes the longest uh, time for us is because we've never done any coding before. It's not actual coding, though. Her name is Ava. It's E V A, like with an e. but we just say Ava. Uh, I don't know why we decided to do that. NH365, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Moon Kingdom. Um, so yeah, the, the cool thing about Unreal Engine 4 is it has this blueprint system, which is like visual scripting, they call it. Quote, unquote, visual scripting. Um, I'll show you guys later what it looks like. Uh, it's, it's like a node system. So, yeah, these walls are very bare. I keep getting nervous, like, people are not going to understand that this is a prototype, and so this is not the final look. Not Just even Just keep this in mind. We started two weeks ago, so this is only two weeks' worth of work. Yeah. That's kind of, we, we went crazy By just the it. two of us. I created, like, all the, um, the character movement blueprints all by myself. I was so proud of it. I did it. I did it. I had video tutorials, but still. Um, you can talk to all the people, and we even did, like, little voice effects for them. No, this is not the finished game. <laughs> this is not the finished game. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, uh, wait till Maple you see syrup. <laughs> brown co captain. This is uh, this is just the one part you'll see, and this is. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Everybody's asking. God damn it! This is not, not the final, finished game. Not the final this look. This is before pre-alpha. <laughs> well, pre -pre thank you, Miller. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> So we like to do the, uh, we like doing the little voices, so we're doing mostly writing, but then, uh... Yeah, we did little voices for them. Sort of like in Zelda, how they all make, like, little noises, but they don't actually have, like, voiceovers. Two months from now, it'll be a flight sim. Oh my god, seriously, though, that's one of the main things I want to incorporate, <laughs> is, like, this flying movement with, like, fluid animations, kind of like in Journey, you know? But Dan, we did That's use, his idea. We did use a, uh, mar one marketplace content. I spent a week trying to work on the dialogue system with only, just only met by failure over and over again. So we did eventually get the dialogue system on the marketplace. Yeah, we do have a couple of blueprints off the marketplace. And hopefully we can get more later down the road because they're really a lifesaver. Oh, Ross, thank, thank you, Ross. you. I have been thinking about a Kickstarter, but I don't know. We're still, it's still pretty early stages, so we'll see where it goes. We want to get it a little bit farther along before mm. we put it up for Kickstarter. So there's the like options <laughs> for the dialogue, like so you can pick what you want to say. Um, Hell no. <laughs> Ava's extraordinary enchanting exploits. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, so much. Hello, Ariathwin. That's a cool name. I hope I said that right. Kickstarter won't pay for development or publishing costs. I, uh, I'll have to look into it. Wait, what? What will they pay for? We'll, well, I'll, I'll look into it. We'll see. I feel like the only thing you need is development and publishing costs. Um, so anyways, this is this room is really unfinished, but I'm pretty proud of how it's coming so far. I'm really inspired by Art Nouveau 
and that kind of style, which is kind of where the windows came from, and the doors, too. Um, you guys, I have a, a, we did a website, um, terralunastudios.com. If you want to check it out, I'm going to basically, <laughs> I'm going to basically, uh, document everything that we do from here on out on the on the website for anybody who's interested in like indie game development I don't know and on there I have a Pinterest page full of like thousands of images that I used to inspire this to Sarah, Sarah? No. okay I figured I would skip the lengthy parts but oh, okay sorry I should... this is one of our main characters I'm probably gonna redo all the characters for the final game, but you need a link. Okay, let's see. One second. Oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's okay. We can get back real quick. It's not very long. There we go. All right, let's start that again. Luckily, we didn't get very far. So the idea we had was that we wanted to, um, we like keeping things as simple as possible, especially being two people. We really don't want to, uh, like overly complicate it and like get in over our heads or anything. <laughs> One of the things that we, uh, we like best in games is just really like moving around, exploring a world and talking to people. And like, we can totally do those things. Yeah. Um, those are the things that like, I mean, I know how to do music and sound design and writing. And she knows how to do really good worlds. So we figure combine those things and we got a solid game, you know? It doesn't need to be, you know, we're gonna like make it really extensive in those fields and we're gonna make some fun gameplay around with it too, but we wanna keep it as simple as possible. Um, and just yes. make it like a real pure game experience, just a real storytelling kind of experience. Um, yes, Robert, this is Unreal Engine and uh... Satan, I will show you. I will show you how I did the characters. I just want to give you guys a quick one, run through of the game um, prototype so far. This is the treehouse. This is one of my favorite parts about the school. Thank you, Vidan. It is. Um, hey, it is girl. very much like. We don't want to tell a story. I like I like the art style a lot because it's something where I can create a lot of content and I just don't I'm not worried about making it look triple A or anything like that. Oh, uh, you'll want to get to know Ava Roswab. We have uh, we have some really good characters. Yeah. Way. We, uh... The characters and the story are the most important part for me because, you know, I, I I'm not I'm not a programmer. He's not a programmer. We're doing our best and we got this much so far, which is impressive. <laughs> hmm. Hey Krypton! Hey Nibri! <laughs> so down there you can see the village that I made. All stand-in mostly. I mean I made a really nice house that I'm proud of for the village, but it's not gonna in the final game it's not gonna be all the same house, you know, duplicated over and over again. Yeah, we wanna make the we wanted to make it feel like a living, breathing world as much as possible. So one of my main missions has been every single NPC I want to have like, you know, unique uh, dialogue. <laughs> Why does your finished game look like this, Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much for that donation! Genuine maple syrup, we are absolutely going to put tons of Easter eggs. <laughs> this whole dang place the whole is the game, Moon Kingdom. The whole game is an Easter egg. This is the Moon Kingdom, my friends, so welcome. I hope yes, you like Couch, it. <laughs> Avery Couch makes music for this. Uh, I only made one song for the demo, but I'm going to preferably have a lot. Couch Ghost did all of the sound design and all of the music for this game, so props to him for that. He did all the sounds, all the music, all the writing, and he did like all the dialogue. It was we're we're really impressed with ourselves. I'm gonna say that. I know it sounds cocky, but <laughs> so this is we're the, pretty uh, proud of this herbalism class. Yes, this is the herbalism room. I'm gonna make more plants. I want this place to be like dripping with plants. So, this is the professor and Juliet Dinkle. <laughs> I take credit for that. names. Uh, except, <laughs> actually, except Anne Juliet Dinkle. Uh, Anne Juliet was, uh, that was Adrian's idea. Our, yeah, our daughter Dinkle. named her. Anne Juliet. Mm -hmm. Bye, Br Brown Coat. Thank you so much for being here and for that donation. You are fantastic. I will see you around. 
Um, would be funny if you made really creepy music. <laughs> so this is the herb room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we want the focus to kind of be like talking to people. I'm not gonna spoil all this stuff. No. I'm think... missing the fungal apparitions. Yeah, she's talking about she has a problem with fungal apparitions. <laughs> Clock is always 420. It's 420 somewhere. Um, anyways, so... Um, what was I saying? Shoot. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of talking, basically. <laughs> That's just what we like doing when we play Zelda. It's kind of like, man, why is all this fighting getting in the way? I really want to just kind of like... Right! Like, we, we talk to a lot of people and everyone's like, yeah, well, you know, my favorite part in Zelda is walking around and talking to people. And so I'm chickens. like, you know what? I can make people talk in a game. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fungal apparitions don't get enough love. Exactly! See? Vidon understands. This is one of my favorite areas. This is the potions she brewing really classroom. really hard on the potions room. Really proud of this. You can talk to him. Yeah. Check this guy out. This is the potions master. He's pretty awesome. I'm not inspired by Harry Potter at all. <laughs> um... We're also gonna I have a lot more like visual. Potion to move a little bit. The NPCs are all gonna look different. We have like only a few models right now, but we're going to, uh, you know, in, in, like add a lot more models to the uh, NPCs. Yeah, I only have yeah, I only have four characters um, for the NPCs, which I just placed everywhere. But my goal is to um, make like pretty much everyone, maybe not everyone, because I plan on having like hundreds and hundreds of people in this game, but my goal is to make unique characters for almost everybody. Because if we're only doing writing, Darth, we're going to make I a made lot all of writing. the art. I made all the art from scratch, and it's not that, it's not that impressive, because a lot of it is still blocky, like these desks are just cubes, but I did do it all by myself. Also, Iron Milk Steak, it is in a giant treehouse, but it's going to be expanded beyond the treehouse as well. We're going to be doing it, there's like a tree on a mountain, and there's going to be school all through. Uh, we got a lot more. Got a lot more coming. I like this girl, because she's saying, why? Why is it not glowing? I did everything right. I added all the right things, and did, and I did it just like the book says. This is the third time I've tried, and it just isn't working. And this was totally based off of the fact that we tried, like, making a dialogue the system. dialogue like, system. Pro we probably, like, deleted everything and started it from scratch, like, three times, and it just wasn't working! We were so frustrated! We will add beards. Can I play the part of a rock? <laughs> yes. I don't know. Sometime down the line, I'll probably make you guys all NPCs. Actually, Roz, that's a lot like what she did, pretty much. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do, Roz. Right now, I just took the same characters and I just put different materials on all of them so they look different. Um, well, not all of them, but... Over here across this bridge, we're going to have another um, castle, which is not finished yet. There's a person over there that's saying this area is under construction. You can't go here. Um, this is the lore classroom where you get to learn lore and all I want to be is a bottle on the shelf <laughs> I'll make you a bottle I'll name it genuine maple syrup because totally I can do down, that totally down for adding NPCs for you guys uh, I want to be a hockey stick Sproly <laughs> hello Sproly landed on a book and the jump animation I have is completely temporary, but I love that it looks like she's clicking her heels every time I jump. Sha! <laughs> so the other thing that we're able to do, we're able to do uh, animations. So we were thinking that we want to add, like, if we're going to do a gigantic world that you get to run around in, we want to make it really fun to run and jump around. And uh, just keep it simple like that. Yeah. Yes, I have been busy. <laughs> yes, Roz, you can absolutely You can be the IT guy! You oh my gosh. Can. Are you Miller? I'm uh, excited about it too. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe, maybe, maybe putting this up on the Patreon so you guys can download it and play it if you want to. If you're a patron. Maybe I'll just put it on the website. I don't know. I feel a little, a little bit nervous. Crafting. Yes, that's kind of a goal. That is a goal. 
I wanted the I wanted the potions and like the um, magic system to be um, very crafting based. I was really inspired by Stardew Valley and games like Harvest Moon and Minecraft. They've always been an inspiration to me. So I would really love to incorporate crafting as a magical talent. Um, but it wouldn't be crafting. It would be like I don't know. We casting. That out entirely yet, but we're spell gonna... casting. <laughs> we got some ideas. I'm, I'm kind of considering, like, the magic system being based off of, like, collecting different crystals and putting them together and doing things with them based off, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. So the cool thing that uh, Couch Ghost did was he basically made dialogue for every single character in this entire prototype. Oh, thank you, Miller. I don't take credit for the animations. I got them off of Mixamo which I highly recommend. Mixamo is um, Adobe's auto rig and animation database. You basically just have to have an account. Um, Finger Lady has to be here, you're right. Oh, yeah. Um, and we also did voices for all of them. All of them. What is outside the castle walls? Ooh, you're going to have to get the game and find of out. Of course there's going to be monsters. Sergio! Hello! Um, Actually, yeah, that's exactly what Yeah, Miller, Adobe <laughs> stuff is cool. I didn't actually know about it until I was like making this, and I was like, oh, crap. I have to rig this character. I hate rigging. <laughs> I hate it so much. And then I looked it up, and I, was, I discovered auto-rig. And it is just so amazing. Everybody should be using auto rig. Um, this is the village. Welcome to the village. It's one really of my favorite the This is Red. He is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not easy, Miller. It sucks. so sketchy. I love it. The sheep eating her book. Let's talk about Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I was like, I didn't make a sheep yet. <laughs> As you were. This is Poe. Poe po is, is favorite. my favorite character. <laughs> Poe is my favorite. He is so cool. Um, I'm not going to talk to him right now because he's got a lot of dialogue. These are supposed to be old people. We have been doing this, we've spent two weeks on this knee brief. Two weeks! <laughs> and actually one of those weeks was like mostly wasted on trying to get that dialogue system working. Yeah, so. Roz, you would understand the struggles. Any programmers out there would understand the struggles. We were just sitting here like, why isn't this working? For a week. Yes, Poe is a guy. He's kind of gender neutral. <laughs> he is kind of gender neutral. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys the characters. Poe does not Two have weeks. a last name, but we did just Two watch that weeks! Movie. I know! You guys, are you impressed? Because I feel really proud. We did not sleep, actually. We're That's doing the funny this story in there. two weeks. We did not sleep. We, uh, we, uh, we were up till about... Well, I was up till 2 a.m. and then got up at 7. And then Ella was up until 4 a.m. and got up at 9. Each and Nibri, no, I do not sleep. <laughs> I sacrificed sleeping... She was actually in a deep meditative trance planning the game every night. Because, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John Mac. Thank you, Dino Bowl. Thank you, everybody. I did make all this art in two weeks. I did. <laughs> I have not drank any... Well, I had two coffees. Two. Only two. That's not two. bad. Two. <laughs> no sleep for the wickedest. We had a lot of fun, though. I really hope we get to keep making this. Oh, also, do you guys know any publishers or anything? Like, for the love we're of gonna, God, help us. <laughs> we're gonna send this to, like, all the publishers. Um, there's a couple of, like, grants that I'm going to apply for. Otherwise, I'm just gonna hopefully do freelance work and hope we can survive and make this game 
whenever we have the time for it. Game dev shops need to pay you more. <laughs> so yeah, this is my house though. I'm pretty proud of the house. I like it. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I just sort of slapped different materials on the roofs to make them look kind of different. Oh my gosh, 10,000 sprinkles. Mm. Oh, and by the way, the school's name is Chrysalis. I had an epiphany one night because for a few days we were talking about it. We were like, what should we name the school? What should we name it? And then one night I was like falling asleep and I just had this epiphany. And I was like, it needs to be named Chrysalis. It's where students go to like transform themselves into sorcerers and sorceresses. Um, this girl's selling slippers. <laughs> I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy all the dialogue that we put into this. Chrysalis is the name of a lot of things. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure most of the names I pick will not be completely original. However, most of the names for the characters that he came up with are completely original. And um, the, these guys? <laughs> we are two very handsome gents, aren't we, Rupert? <laughs> the handsomest Loki. The handsomest. <laughs> His name is Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Loki Aventosaurus. Um, the village is actually quite large. You can walk around all the streets and whatnot. And I want to fill these out with, like, backyards. There's going to be fences. There's going to be stuff. I really want to I, I really deck this place out. And this is gonna be a like a forest. I think there's gonna be like a forest dungeon in there somewhere. And possibly like some, gotta put some people's houses back. There. I will make you all characters. I will. That I I'm determined. Um, We're gonna need ideas. Got a lot of writing to do. <laughs> oh yeah, but Dan, that's okay. I I have a hard time coming up with names for things. I do not. He does not know, he does not. So, I think that's about the gist of it, right? Yeah, that's about that's it. That's about it. Um, you know, obviously... Is there so going to be a cat named Loki? Way, Probably. The way we figure it, this took us uh, two weeks to make, and if we were able to work full-time on it, I mean, like, just multiply this by many times, and, like, essentially, as we get more assets made, so, like... Every house that we add, every uh, every new little object we add, it's easier and easier to add them again, because then you just copy paste. Um, so the world really ought to just kind of spring to life, because um, like the, yeah. the hardest part was week one, where we just didn't have anything. But week two, it just like all kind of exploded. Um, so we really want to, you know, we want to make a kind of really like as big of a world as we can, um, obviously. <laughs> So this is what we've got so far, art-wise. It's a lot of stuff. I am pretty happy with it so far. But the idea is that we want to have multiple levels about this size. We're thinking like 6 to 10 right now. Mm -hmm. We keep saying 6, but I think more would be doable. I don't know. What is the main goal of this thingy? That depends on what you mean by this thingy. The game, in general, the point is to um, go through the story, which we haven't fully written yet because we only have one level and it's only in prototype stage. So we will see where it goes. We will see. Thank you. Oh, Thank no, you. we're going to be making a full game out of it. One way or the other, I mean, it's, you know, it might be tough. Ruga, thank you so much for the host. So, you know, admittedly, like, we're, we're kind of hoping we can get funding at some point because... Uh, I really were, would like to focus on this. We'd like I to think focus on it. I think it's a lot of fun. But even if we didn't get funding on it and we just had to work jobs, we'd probably still work on it on the side, yeah. frankly. Vidana, I'm actually, I'm going to apply for the dev grant. I found that a while ago. I'm just a little intimidated. Like I've been, I've been working really hard on this because I want to apply for stuff like that, 
But I'm nervous because I don't know what the competition is like. I don't know what they're looking for a lot of the in the games application. A lot of the games that get them look like they're like completed. Like they say they're greenlit already. And it's like, how are you greenlit? What do you need money for once you're greenlit? <laughs> like, I'm sure there's reasons, but it just kind of is like... Hey, babe. Hey, baby biscuit. Welcome. Sergio, Kickstarter? Uh, yeah, we're definitely thinking of doing that. Um, I am considering a Kickstarter. I just don't know how to do that. I'm scared. But I, I, I don't know. I really, I really believe in this game and I really want to make it. <laughs> oh, I should show you guys the blueprints though. Um. Moonshine. <laughs> that would be an appropriate drink. I have never had moonshine. It sounds scary. Thank you, Neoshin. You guys are making me feel so good about this game project. I've been so nervous to show everybody. Because I've basically been living under a rock this whole time. I can work under pressure, but then that's no problem. <laughs> um, anyways, anyways, so I'll show you my character blueprint. <sighs> Let's see. This is the blueprint for Ava. Um, this is visual scripting. So we've got, this is for the movement. You get the control rotation, blah, blah, blah. I don't really understand how a lot of it works because I'm not a programmer, but um, I understand visually how you hook stuff up and it works. <laughs> I just trust that it works. And if it doesn't work, then I freak out. Which happens a lot. Um, and basically all that's in here is all the controls. Shashwalop? Thank you so much for that follow. And uh, welcome to the Moon Kingdom. Over here we've got the gamepad controls in case we want to put it on like PlayStation or Xbox or something. Um, touch control for mobile. None of this is really relevant right now, but... Um, I did, I did all the code for the character, this is the jump, this is um, part of a blueprint that I got off the marketplace, um, this is just the pause menu, and it's, it basically just turns it on, so input action pause, I know what this one means, this means when you push tab, it brings up the pause menu. And then here's the dialogue system. And this um, basically, um, how do I put it? Uh, it? It brings up the little press E notification and um, tells it what to do when you press E. And that's all it is. Um, then there's an animation blueprint which is terrible. I was very uncomfortable with it. <laughs> Head hurts. Yeah, trust me. It's not easy for me. Um, this is called a state machine. Yep, this is code. <laughs> sort of. It doesn't feel like code to me because it's visual, but it is. It's just... It makes it a lot easier for us because neither yeah. of us understands that yet. But... Um, so this is a state machine. It tells Ava how to jump, basically. So it's saying, you know, this is the idle walk run animation sequence, which basically is based off of how fast you're going. It will cue the idle animation or the walk animation or the running animation. And I think it's at like speed 375 units. It switches to running. And then, um... If the character is in air, then it can enter the transition. The transition brings you into the jump. And there, you have to have a jump start, loop, and an end. And um, to go into the loop <laughs> basically is based off of if the jumping start animation is almost done, then start up the jumping loop animation. I, I feel like you guys are gonna get bored if I explain all this, but then, so, then it tells you how to transition and when to transition into the jump end animation, and then from there when to transition into the idle walk run animation. C++ does seem awesome, and I've heard many good things about it, but 
I don't know how to do it, but I would like to learn. We want to learn. We would love to learn like programming full on because it would make it so much easier to make like everything we want in the game. Whereas right now we're kind of limited. <gasps> Sweets and beets. Hello. How are you? Did you get my message on Twitter? Just wondering. Um, but yeah, this whole thing has um, has really made me interested in programming because I'm a total perfectionist and programming is very picky and it likes perfection and I can I can respect that <laughs> so um, let's see um, we also have um, the game mode there's really nothing in here this is just for the um, the uh, dialogue system. Um, I don't really know how it works because I, uh, I, I downloaded this blueprint system, but what it does is it basically tells it to interpret this, the script. Um, all of the writing is contained in these data tables. This is all of the writing, all of the characters. Couch Ghost did all of this. All of this writing. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> that, took me, that took me a little while. Um, so are you guys looking for some people to code? Possibly, John Mack. I will, I will hit you up if we need anything because we are not great at programming. <laughs> <laughs> Again, out of the two weeks, as much as I'd love to say that like all this content took us a two weeks, we're actually really convinced we can make a freaking huge world yeah. in a lot less time. It's the coding that takes us so long. So like again, out of that whole world you saw, one week was pretty much entirely devoted to coding. It took forever. These are all the characters that um, Couch Ghost created. I did this in like two days. Look this at how <laughs> many. Look at how many characters there are, and they pretty much all have voice effects Thank too. Thank you. Not all of them, Insane. but I'd say about half of them have voice Isn't effects. Isn't that crazy though? I just am blown away by how many <laughs> how many there are. Um, it was just it was just a really it was a really crazy experience trying to put together an entire game by ourselves. Yeah, you might. <laughs> you just tell me any time, MSG Hero. I write like nobody's business. Vidan, oh my gosh, that's something I wanted to talk about. That is something that I'm super, super proud of myself. I hacked video games. I have no textures in this game whatsoever. No textures. And that's why it's only... Well, it does, it's not that much memory. Uh, Sprell, yes, you did. You saw Burt Baggery. That yes, you did. <laughs> I think we got rid of Burt Baggery, I, I think we did get rid of Burt Baggery. He, he was, was a getting, little negative. Sometimes it's really late at night, and sometimes, yeah. like, I'm just really grumpy, and then Burt Baggery makes it in, and he's, like, having an unpleasant conversation, so... <laughs> Roz, yeah. Oh, my gosh, Miller, I was thinking about that, because I, I saw your, um your voice real and I was like you know what we could use some extra voices um sweets and beets thank oh, you so the, much uh, sweets and beets shop the village real quick just like oh so yeah 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 the, uh... so yeah all of these are flat materials flat just a color parameter that's it that's all it is I'm almost embarrassed but at the same time I'm not because that's why I was able to make so much art and it looks great, so I don't care. This is our favorite scene, but by like so far, just like having the like village in the background with the trees and stuff. Yeah, I this all happened. It just happened. I I wasn't planning it. It just happened. And yeah, it's all thanks to Unreal Engine's amazing lighting because it probably wouldn't look so good if it weren't lit and shaded nicely. Thank you, Roz. Thank you guys for being so encouraging. I am proud. <laughs> Thank you guys. You're making me feel so special. Um, but yeah, it just kind of, it's building itself really because I was making this village and these houses were all bricks and I was like, 
I can't show this to anybody with these ugly houses. So I just made a house and I duplicated it and immediately it looked warm and inviting and full of life. It is my world and I can do what I want. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then I was just like sitting in here and I was like, you know, this place, it feels so empty. It needs benches and it needs little marketplace stands. And I made the marketplace stands and the benches and it took me like an hour. It took me like an hour to make them and I just plopped them in and it looked so much better. Um, also, the particle effects are amazing and they... Uh, they're Infinity Blade. I don't know if any of you guys have played the mobile game Infinity Blade, but all of the Infinity Blade assets are available for free on the Unreal Marketplace. Free! Now, there's a lot of them, so take that with a grain of salt. I spent like two hours deleting 99% of the effects off of my computer so that I could actually package the game. But... Definitely take advantage of that if you are into that sort of thing. So that's where I got the uh, water effects. All the, almost all of the particle effects are infinity blade effects that I altered majorly, but. The compile times are like instantaneous for the most part. I mean, my blueprints are really basic, but. Yeah, we have about like a simple of, uh, simple blueprints as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole deal is I just hack the art a lot so um, <laughs> this is almost embarrassing also but um, the the material for this is just a green material and I just put grass wind effect on it Weird. John yeah, Mack gaming thank you so much for that follow welcome when you say for free, um, I'm pretty sure it's just completely free. You have to use it in an Unreal Engine game. I'm pretty sure that's the only conditions. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Let me check. Because I know they said something about, like, you must do this. Infinity Blade effects. Right here. There's hundreds of them. Um, so yeah, this content is not permitted for use in non-Unreal Engine games. Um, and that's, that's about it. That's the only condition. Licensed for use with Unreal Engine only. I'll probably replace them in the end, but in order to make this prototype look pretty, um, I decided why the hell not. I just used them. Um, and toned them down a lot, so like this water was like at spawn like 50 and I toned it down to like spawn 5. <laughs> um, two awesome people trying to make a dream come true, that's what I'm doing, I believe! 10 out of 10 would buy, thank you! Well, I, I just might, I just might um, do a Kickstarter someday. We will see. Wolfgang, you can, for the record. I, I hope you everyone can. Like, understands Everybody, that. Everybody, you can be creative. For the record, I was not a creative person. Like, I didn't do art in high school or anything like that. I um, whipped him into shape. I made him creative. It was her, mostly, I'll admit. But it was like, it is apparently something you didn't learn because I was, like, as creative as a rock. And, like, I, I was kind of, like, I learned it. Uh, starting at like 20, 21, you know, it wasn't, this isn't like a, uh, something I've been working on since I was 10 or anything, this is like, last few years. Don't get me wrong, she's the more creative one, but it's like, you know, I, I feel pretty proud of the, uh, all the writing and the music and stuff like that. <laughs> right here, man. That's right, man. <laughs> Wicked cha. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Oh yeah, D and D oh, is great. We love D and D. Actually, that's like where it's a lot of the ideas for this came from. Frankly. I think that's probably like what sparked it. Um, we used to make D and D games. Yeah, we used to do pretty yeah. awesome D and D sessions. It just kind of opens up the creative flow, man. Um, 
There's gonna be a library tower over here. Well, it might not be a library. I'm not sure. I want this to be a massive castle. It's gonna be and a big castle. And then the idea is that once you go out those gates, you'll be in a new level. We'll open up a new level, and there will be like six more of them. That's the idea. So, is there anything else you guys want to see? Do you have any questions? Um, a new campaign! Yay! That's exciting. So, what should this game be about, gameplay-wise? Um, Lifemaker, you guys, I need to make a command. Um, bookmark our website or something like that because we're gonna um, we're gonna be documenting all the stuff we do uh, we don't have the storyline completely nailed down yet but the idea is you're a student and you go to a school for magic and you're gonna learn spells you're gonna make friends you're gonna be really hungry because students are really poor and hungry all the time Argadoo thank you for being here hello um, we tried nailing down a story in the beginning. We had like I had like a whole uh, a whole story outlined and like episodes and like you know episodes yeah he had out. like pages written out. And then the second we would change like a little bit of gameplay, I'd have to change the whole damn uh, you know the, the storyline and the. Oh my gosh, Roz! That totally is the first quest. We have a noodle shop quest. <laughs> Roz, <laughs> weird. How did you? Uh... <laughs> but yeah, I wanted it to be like kind of. Is that like kind of obvious and hilarious so the first quest was gonna be like we have to go and get some noodles <laughs> well legit it's like because like we remember being college students and it's like that is like your number one quest that you have to go on so i'll take five percent <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i don't want to i don't want to spoil the main story and we're not sure that that is a thing anymore because like basically what it is is we're again we're like we're gonna build the world and we're gonna kind of let the story flow from there yeah because we tried building the story first and letting the world flow off of it and it just didn't work that way so we're gonna start with the world start with the characters and then kind of let the story develop from there yeah so i don't know i i've been struggling kind of debating like I don't want it to be a fate of the world type of story, but at the same time, I kind of think Ava would make a pretty kick-ass superhero type. It doesn't have to be fate of the world for it to be a superhero. Just saying. Yeah, so, man, the light shafts are so pretty too. I love Unreal Engine, you guys. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to apply for that Unreal Dev Grant. If you guys could put a good word in for me, it would, I would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm off to take. Everybody tweet at Unreal Engine, say, throw money at this game. I'm going to go take a bath. All right. Good evening, all. Good night, Couch Ghost. Nice seeing y'all again. Um. Exactly, Vidan. We want to um, just kind of go with the flow for the most part. Like, some things are going to be planned out, but for the most part, we've been just winging this. None of this was really planned out. I had, I had, like, I wanted to make a dorm, and I made the dorm, and I was like, okay, well, now I need a hallway. And the hallway's got to lead out to some sort of, like, common area. Um, and then the dorm building was really hard to plan out. I am not good at architecture, so I will have to heavily modify this building. Because right now there's a third floor that you can't even get into. There's a door for the second floor. There's no staircase leading up to the third floor. Also, there's no bathroom. So, this is very temporary. Um, the tree house was really hard to make. Aw, oh, thanks, Life Maker. Yeah, it's um, very early stages right now. Um... The treehouse was really hard. I started out with like a cylinder and just chiseled away at it. That's pretty much how all of this works. Roz, that's a great idea. I'll just I'll just cheat and say, you know what? The reason there's no stairs is because of magic. Magic is my excuse for everything. Um 
But Dan, that's a good question. I have um, I have a gameplay trailer that I threw together this afternoon in like a half an hour because I wanted to send it to publishers and whatnot. I I was super nervous to share it, but I guess I'll tweet it, and you guys can retweet it if you feel like it. Um, that would be super awesome of you guys. Magic, that's how I code. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, just toss a door to the third floor. Yeah, so only only seniors can get there because they know how to fly. <laughs> like Naruto uses chakra as an excuse. Exactly. It's a great system. Um... Not sure how much it would cost for non-real structures. <laughs> Unreal ones. Um, I don't know any actual architects. I probably could look into that. The bathroom is on the floor you can't get to. <laughs> yes. Um, what else do I have in here? I can show you. My name won't fit. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Moon Kingdom. Is it unreal, non real? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, let's see. These are all the animations I got. These are all off of Mixamo. I don't know if I'm allowed to use them, but I plan on replacing them all. Um. Let's see. Running. Uh, there's some talking animations. Had so much fun doing the characters. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna um, do something like uh, turn like every character, or turn every every one of you guys into a character, and anyone who like donates on Patreon or whatever into a character. Maybe that could be a Kickstarter reward if we do a Kickstarter. I'm just super nervous about that. You can use them, John Mac? That's awesome. Well, I'll probably keep a lot of them because a lot of them work really nicely. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the characters. I wonder if I have those on here. Let me pull this over here while I find them. Um, so I found, I found a drawing style that I just really love. I gotta show you guys this. Um, images, let's see, let's see if this will open. Targa file, so I don't know. Let's see if this works. Thinking about ramen now? <laughs> Me too. Uh, I wish. Show us. <laughs> I will definitely make that a Kickstarter reward because the characters are so fun to make. I, I just am really in love with this art style. It really frees me up to create as much as possible. Um, no, I don't want to get pro quick time. So this is one of our characters, our main characters. This is Cyan. He might, might, might be a love interest. And by might, I mean probably. This is Ava. She's our main character. How much would you have to donate to get in? Probably not much. Maybe like 20 bucks. This is Poe. He is my absolute favorite, favorite character. He is, he is the best. Um, and this is Sarah. This is gonna be Ava's roommate. Um, yeah, she has purple hair. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way these guys turned out. Uh, 
And um, what I want to do is I want to have like a pause menu journal system. Really, Roz? I will keep that in mind. I'm, I don't know how to make a Kickstarter. Well, <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, I mean, I do want to have a lot of characters in the book or in the game. Um, but yeah, I want to have like a journal system where it's kind of like a book where the pages flip and stuff like that and you can look at all the characters and read about them. Hey, Seven Brian, how's it going? Thank you, Sergio. I'm pretty happy with the style. Um, these were made in Krita, by the way. I know, <laughs> ask Kayla. <laughs> right? We're all in the game anyways, yeah. You guys, you guys, my loyals, my regs, regulars, you'll be in the game. I'm not even gonna ask your permission. I'm gonna steal your identity and put it in the game. Just kidding, sort of. How much of the model's logic was from the asset store? So, okay. I'm, I mean it when I say I made, like, literally all of the art. Krita. <laughs> Not really, maple syrup. Um, I made all of this in Maya and ZBrush. Um, and I bought the dialogue system and the um, pause menu was from, all right, let me just show you guys. It'd be easier if I just showed you. Epic Games Launcher. So I bought the Blueprint Dialogues by Grogaru. This is a really great system. And all of this will probably get replaced by the end of the game development, but for a prototype it was nice to just get it thrown in there. Um, and the RPG Inventory System, which I couldn't actually get working, unfortunately. I don't know why I couldn't get it to work. Um, but I did, I did keep the pause menu system from it because I liked that it had all the tabs set up. Um, but that's something I'm gonna have to mess with <clears throat> to get all that stuff to work. And then, like I said, the particle effects, um, they're from Infinity Blade. Oh, you use Krita? Some of the bigger brushes, yeah. It has the best brushes. It is, it's really awesome. I love the marketplace. I just wish there was more content up. If any of you guys are good programmers and you're good at making blueprints and stuff, you should totally put stuff up on the marketplace because crazy artists who are terrible at code like me do use that stuff and we need the help and it's such an amazing thing for indie devs. I highly recommend the marketplace. I've actually been thinking I'm going to put art up on the marketplace. Maybe like all of the art from this game I can put up on the marketplace. Um, I, I am. I am trying to learn. I spent, I spent a lot of time just watching all of the tutorials by Unreal on blueprints. Roz, thank you. That's very, that's very sweet. I will definitely, I will definitely let you guys know. That's why I want to do the blog because if anybody wants to like just mess around with stuff, maybe pitch in. I obviously am broke and can't like hire people right now, but ideally in the future, it would be cool to like have everybody be involved in the creation process. I think that would be really amazing. Um. More of a Unity guy. I, I see a lot of people talking about Unity. Awesome. All right. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to show you guys in here. Um, oh yeah, I could show you my materials. So... Um, 
potion material. I found... Aw, oh, Vidan, good night! Sweet dreams, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your kind words and your encouragement. That meant so much. Um, Unreal has this awesome grass wind world position offset built in. And it's supposed to be used on grass and like leaves and stuff to make it look like it's blowing in the wind. But I used it on this potion material to make it look like the potion was kind of like wavy, wiggly. Just kind of like moving around a little bit to give it a little life. And they always say that you really won't ever need the metallic filter on anything other than zero and one. But I find that it's really cool for this low poly style to give it like more depth, um, more colors, like uh, Poe's hair. I don't know if you noticed the hair on these characters is very colorful. Um, so I used a little tiny, tiny bit of metallicness, metalness as they call it in Unreal Engine. A little tiny bit of metalness, actually a lot of metalness um, on the hair for the main characters to help them stand out and have a little bit more color in their hair. Right, maple syrup. I've actually used it on wiggly arms before, and it was hilarious. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell. But the potion is just kind of moving a little bit. And it just gives it some life and without having to animate it, because animation is time-consuming. You've never used Unreal Engine? Well, you should give it a try. It's worth a try. I love Unreal Engine. MSG, I will. I will. I will totally stream Krita and drawing the characters. Um, so I'm thinking I want to try streaming once or twice a week because it's hard for me. But I missed streaming so much. It's just hard for me to find the time because I'm trying to, like, survive over here, you know? And it's hard. I want to work on this game so bad. But at the same time, I need to work in order to pay my rent. So I've, I've, been, I've been struggling to find time. Um, uh, so I think I'm going to stream twice a week. And I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays at around this time, because this time works nicely for me. Um, and I will, I will do my best. I know, I know I'm terrible at sticking to a schedule, and I am so sorry for that, you guys. I really am. <laughs> Aw, Sproly. <laughs> it's, it must be late for you. Um, I've missed you guys too, Wolfgang. Surviving is nice though. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to survive while also following my dream of becoming a video game developer. Tuesdays and Thursdays at this time is good for you, Roz? Okay. I think I'm going to try and stick to that. Because I think twice a week I can actually stick to. I think I can do it. Not digging the blueprints? I dig them because I'm an artist and I don't know how to program. So blueprints make it way easier for me. <laughs> Maple syrup. Um, you guys have no idea how much the support and encouragement means to me. Seriously. I've, I've just had so much fun doing this. And I hope I can keep making this game because I think it's going to be really awesome. So yeah, I just threw on different materials to them to make them look different even though it's the same four NPCs all over. Twice a week would be nice. Tuesday works, but Thursday might be hard. Damn. Midnight East Coast time, that would be 
That would be about now, wouldn't it? Damn. <laughs> A genuine try. <laughs> okay. But you know what, guys? I have. To, I know this was a short stream. It was only like an hour. But I'm going to hop off, I think. Um, I have to go and finish up a couple of videos. And I have to go and probably apply for the grant. And probably like a million publishers. And I have some freelance work to finish up. I probably won't be sleeping tonight, but I appreciate you guys being here so much, and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and next time I stream, I will probably be doing Krita character paintings, and maybe some, uh, probably some props and character sculpting for the game, because I don't want to work on anything other than this now. I'm so in love with it. <laughs> I I want to say thank you guys so much so much for being here. Thank you so much for the donations You guys made me feel so welcome to be back streaming and I Am overwhelmed with happy right now. Um, I will see you guys. I will see you guys soon um, Plan on Tuesday night same time as tonight's happened um, <laughs> Corgi butts. Uh, we want streams. Okay, I will. Imaginations, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Moon Kingdom. I will see you guys on Tuesday, and thank you guys so much. I love you. Thank you for everything. I'd rather see you in my dreams In every chance to dance I'll take If I can't see you I'd rather see you in my dreams In every chance to dance I'll take If I can't see you again We could be listening for answers we 